Okay, so here you're going to see another tree burning on the inside as this family makes their escape from Hawaii. The original video was shot in vertical video. The original video will be linked in the description if you want to watch the whole thing. Watch out the window and you'll see the tree is burning on the inside. I showed another video from the Maui fire with a tree burning on the inside along with the fire in Rhodes from a recent video with the tree burning on the inside along with the fires in Canada where they show the trees burning on the inside and the fire department acknowledges that this is something they're not used to dealing with. All of the fires around the world right now are the same type of fire. Plasma fire. Burning trees on the inside. And we're going to go over some of those fires around the world here in a minute with Mr. MB3. Here we're going to look at a plasma fire that ignited five cars at Sydney Airport. Several cars have been destroyed after an electric car burst into flames at Sydney Airport. This caused significant damage. What was behind the explosion? The vehicle was broken down and someone has removed the battery some time ago and that battery had suffered some damage, whether it was from an accident or hitting some debris on the road, and it was then left next to the vehicle, which had caught fire. The battery had been ruptured or caught, was open during um, impact somewhere and water was able to get in, then it did catch fire. Luckily, the airport rescue and firefighting service were close by. They were able to respond quickly. The more of these cars we, we get into the country, the more concern there's going to be that something like this might happen. Is there anything that residents at home are warned about um, when they get an electric vehicle? The trick is obviously because you're dealing with electricity, uh, just making sure that uh, your, your charging setup is is as safely installed as it can possibly be. So you're not there with frayed wires, with, with lower quality wires. If there's water getting into it, that could be bad. But obviously, if your car has had any impact, whether it's a, a minor traffic incident or you've hit a rock on the road and you are worried about it, do get it checked out because uh, uh, that's where you may get a, a battery cell ruptured. So the story they told was that one of the cars had a damaged battery and the battery was removed and sitting beside the car and then it got some water in it and that's how it caught fire. But then the fire would have had to spread from one car to the next car to the next car. And all of them are only burnt under the hood. Just like the five Secret Service vehicles of Joe Biden's that ignited and show the same exact burn pattern. While sitting at the Hertz rental vehicle hours after the Secret Service returned them. All of these cars look the same. Only burned under the hood. The paint is fine. The back half of the car is fine. I'm not going to belabor this point too much because older viewers of this channel know what we're looking at. They've seen it enough times. It's a repetitive pattern. Newer viewers, you're just going to have to do a little catch up. Notice how it only burnt the front half of the car. If fire spreads from one car to another, to the next, to the next, it doesn't just burn under the hood, or primarily under the hood, or 99% under the hood. It would spread through, it would spread evenly over the cars as it moves from one car to the next. We've seen this pattern enough times. This is plasma fire. Here, Mr. MB3 is going to go over uh, the global phenomenon of fire, showing over a thousand fires currently burning. And I'm just going to let it play through the part where he covers the Schumann cavity resonance and the earthquakes that are happening, because this is all part of the same cycle. Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at a current global phenomenon that's underway. Five continents on planet Earth are dealing with some degree of wildfires. I was observing the wildfires once again up in Canada, and I got to noticing that the, the wildfires were stretching down through North America. I knew there was some activity down in South America, and once I got to looking around, it looks like the, the wildfire activity down there had grown exponentially. Checked out the wildfire situation 
situation in Africa. It, too, looks like the, the situation has grown a lot over in Africa, not only in southern Africa, but North Africa as well, up into southern Europe, multiple places dealing with wildfires, and also down in Australia, where they're seeing record temperatures above 100 degrees down in Australia, and that is also attributing to the, the wildfire situation down in Australia. So what I decided to do was make maps of all the continents that were dealing with wildfires, and I'm going to share those maps with you guys here in just a moment. It almost has an apocalyptic feeling to it. It's like there's too much on fire at the same time. There are over 1,000 wildfires currently underway, and there could be more. Coming over to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Brian McSurdy out of Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Spectacular lightning making contact with the ground in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Brian. Really appreciate that. Checking in on the GOES X-ray Flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet in the last 24 hours. With the exception of a couple of large CMEs, there's one underway right here, as you're going to see, and then this one here that occurred just a few hours ago that was not earth directed so the sun is active just not necessarily anything major checking in on the schumann resonance talk about activity those of you that are sensitive to the schumann don't need me to tell you that there have been many major spikes detected in the schumann resonance hopping over to the yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that that monitor the mighty supervolcano looking at a little bit of activity in yellowstone lake right in the center of the caldera everywhere else for the most part pretty quiet at the super volcano I want to take you guys now to various locations around the world this is a map i put together that doesn't include all of the wildfires these are just the most recent wildfires in north africa and parts of europe over in france portugal greece italy northern africa algiers and then over in turkey and again this is just the most recent wildfire activity i found in this part of the world over here at nasa earth observatory wildfires rage in greece this goes back to August 22nd of 2023, just about four weeks ago. And you can see this large plume of wildfire smoke drifting across the Aegean Sea, across Greece, headed towards Italy. Multiple wildfires in that region we just spoke of here in, in the Greece area. There's also wildfires in Algiers that prompted many evacuations. Wildfires in, in North Europe and North Africa over here at BBC.com showing some photos of the wildfire activity back in July. Photo here out of Italy. Photo here also out of Italy. And there's some photos out of Algiers and Greece many wildfires over there in parts of Europe and North Africa and going from Europe northern Africa down to Australia where they're seeing temperature records some places recording temperatures above 100 degrees and it's only September check this out historic heat in Australia stunning 38.4 degrees Celsius and I think I saw one higher that was in the the 39 degree range which is over 100 degrees in multiple locations dealing with temperatures in the 90s and yes there are multiple wildfires across all of australia from western australia clear over to brisbane and multiple locations in between over a hundred wildfires burning in australia going from australia to south central africa there's always wildfires down in here i've noticed they seem to be pretty active in this part of the world year round but right now there are over 300 wildfires burning in this part of the world another location that is dealing with with a high concentration of wildfires. And this location alone, I put this map together, right here north of Botswana, over 280 wildfires just in this area alone. And all of these represent more wildfires, anywhere from 1 to 10, maybe 12 wildfires. So multiple wildfires underway also in southern Africa. Going from southern Africa over to South America, where there is an unprecedented amount of wildfires over here right now as I do this video, not only in South America, but North America as well. Starting down here in Argentina, there's over 175 wildfires currently underway, 129 in Bolivia, and over 42 wildfires currently underway in the Amazon rainforest. That would be the, the last place you would think a wildfire would occur, but they too have been very active for quite some time. Over here at rainforestfoundation.org, 
talking about the ongoing situation with the wildfires and the Amazon rainforest. And there's also many wildfires down in Argentina. You can see before and after photos here. There's a large burn scar that's currently been formed from the ongoing wildfire situation down in Argentina. And once again, there are currently over 100 wildfires in this part of the world down in Argentina. Just north of Argentina, another high concentration of wildfires, uh, 150 plus coming over to North America in Canada. We've been watching this all summer long. 300 plus wildfires currently today as I do this video and there have been many, many more up in Canada. Here's a look at the, the wildfire situation down here in, in the United States. These are active wildfires that are currently underway as I do this video spanning from Washington down to Oregon, Idaho, Montana down into Louisiana of all places and even over in North Carolina and it's showing a small wildfire down in southern Florida. Never seen anything like it. I don't think I've ever seen this many wildfires ongoing at the same time on any of these maps. And these wildfires just alone in Canada have affected tens of thousands of people. And there are still many wildfires underway right now as I do this video. So when you put all these maps together and you look at all the wildfires collectively underway at the same time, it does look a little overwhelming and it almost has an apocalyptic feeling to it as there's almost too many wildfires underway at the same time. Five continents on planet Earth dealing with some degree of wildfires. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming if you guys have any. Someone tipped me off in the comments section and it clicked why there are these massive winds that occur simultaneously with these fires. And they were talking about ionic winds. And I remembered, oh yeah, there's that thing that was on sale for 19.99 infomercial for the Ion Breeze fan. It's a fan without a blade in the middle. Just as you see right here, the air flows through that circle in the center of the fan just by the circulation of the electricity in whatever way it works. This is probably based on the same principle as what creates the massive winds during these fires. The same electricity that is causing the fires also creates an ion wind. Probably based on the same principle that these fans work. But that doesn't mean it's due. As soon as someone sees, oh, well, there it is. That's the mechanical device. That's the dew weapon. The same effect can be created naturally through geomagnetic induction. Whether it's artificially induced or not, this is probably the right direction to go to understand why these winds kick up at the same time as the fire. Fluctuation in the magnetic field creates a surge of ground current electricity or geomagnetic induction and that same current and electricity creates an ionic wind. And he said it has an apocalyptic feel to it. Yep, just business as usual in the time of the apocalypse and business is good.